Hello guys and welcome to Bruges. So today we are in Bruges in Belgium and we wanted to show you a little bit around. So there are so many things that you can do in this beautiful city. First of all, you have to get in the city center and see the marketplace. That's a must do, very beautiful. When walking around the city, please treat yourself to a portion of French fries. Eating in Bruges is very expensive, like the national dish here is the mussels, so you can have the mussel with nature sauce with white wine sauce, but the average price will be around 23 euros, which is very expensive. However, we found a restaurant and they were serving us like a lunch menu for 14 euros with a soup of the day, lasagna and uh, the coffee or tea, which is pretty good deal. So now we're going to get around. Uh, we arrived three hours ago. Um, I think that half a day is enough to see the city, but it's very beautiful. It's really worth it. So if you're coming to Europe, 100% recommended. Let's go. So the closest airport to Bruges is Brussels Central, and you can fly from all around the world. You go to you go to Brussels Central, and then you get to Bruges in like. Um, let's say one and a half hour by train or if you want to rent a car you can also rent a car the um, official languages of Belgium are three so not one but three French Dutch and German German is all is only spoken in a small area although if you go to Brussels station train station for example they will speak in four languages so French Dutch German <laughs> and English so it's awesome and Belgian people are also quite nice usually so yeah when you're in Bruges center you can have a horse ride I don't exactly know the price I'm going to google it afterwards and put it in uh, as a description but it's pretty nice like many people do it another must do in Bruges is to eat chocolate of course we're in Belgium so the worldwide capital of chocolate and please treat yourself to some chocolate because it's super good ah and they also sell Waffles, so the legendary Belgian waffles. Thank you. Oh. So, so here you can also dim your waffle with some uh, some toppings. They say this is the best waffle in town, so let's see. Let's see. Go for it. So the price for a waffle with Nutella is 3 euros 50 and you can top it up with some toppings and they're totally free of charge. Mmm, really good. So I was talking about food before and we saw this place which is bloody expensive so don't come here. As you can see, the salad costs 22 euros, even 23 euros 50. How can a salad cost 23 euros 50? No, that's, that's, that's unacceptable. I'm sorry, that's unacceptable. Asparagus Flemish style, main course 28 euros 50. Seriously? Nah, Bruges, you're disappointing me. If you come to Bruges, you can also buy a ticket to the boat ride, as you can see now. And this costs 8 euros per 30 minutes. So the boat ride is 30 minutes. Quite good. If you come to Bruges and you're into art, then don't forget to visit the Groningen Museum from, from 
9.30 until 5 every day. It's a very interesting museum if, you, if you're into art because it contains uh, like several centuries of Belgian and Flemish paintings inside. So yeah, it's a great place to go and the entrance is 13 euros, so one three. What? Is it expensive? But they do have Jean Van Eyck. Jean Van Eyck painted the Matrimonio Arnolfini or the, uh, God knows how to say that in Dutch. But you can see that in the National Art Gallery in London and that is for free, so it's up to you. Just go. Another great thing that you have to do in Bruges is Historium Bruges. So basically it's located on the market square and you have one price for the entrance but you also have other prices for the other attractions. So you can see here you have a price for the story and the exhibition. Then you have another price for uh, to climb up the tower. So you have a beautiful view. So that will be seven euros for the entrance is 14. Then you have the virtual reality experience. You have one here for seven euros and the other one for 25. But if you want to access the coffee, then it is free. But obviously you have to order something. Apart from that, when you check in at your hotel in Bruges, they will give you the Discover Bruges card, which we don't have because we didn't check in. We slept in Luxembourg and we drove here. But with this card, you can have some discounts at the attractions. For example, here you have one euro of discount. It's not a lot, but it's still something, you know, because it's free, you don't pay for it. And you also have the Museum of the Fries, <laughs> the Frit Museum, and you have a discount of 50 cents. And you can have the discounts at these attractions. So yeah. We're not going to do it today because it's closed. It is half past five and it's only open until five. So bad luck for us. Next time maybe, I'll definitely go back to Bruges anyway. If you're into uh, bus tours, then you also have this bus tour, which is the equivalent of hop on, hop off bus. Let's go and ask how much is it. Hello. Excuse me, how much is the ticket? 20 per person. 20 per person. Perfect, thank you so much. And this is where we run away. <laughs> 20 euros per person, so it's more or less like, like in Luxembourg. So expensive. There is one thing you can do for free in Bruges, it's to visit the underground ruins. So basically, um, next to Market Square, you will have the Crown Plaza Hotel. So just go at the reception in the basement you have the underground ruins and it's free of charge so you don't have to pay anything and uh, it looks beautiful we just arrived here so you can see we're in the home plaza so obviously we're in the basement already but this is the entrance post port super interesting and unlike the cave mates in Luxembourg there are some indications on the wall so you can actually see and know what happened here for example this super cool you have to come That's a windmill. So guys, if you come to Bruges, there is one thing you couldn't miss, is the windmill. The beautiful windmill. So there are two of them, and they're located just next to the entrance of the city center of Bruges. This was my last tip of the day, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then hit the subscribe button, and see you soon for next videos. Thank you so much.
Cheers, guys. See you next time.